Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Taffy's, Taffy's Text to 3D Model. All right, so if you don't know, Taffy or Taffy is the company responsible for Daz 3D. So this is a pretty legitimate uh, company here. That being said, we're on the website. Let's learn some more. You can join the beta if you want. Press play. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this real quick. I mean, concept-wise, this looks really good, really amazing. Um, and we're just looking at an interface here, so I'm not sure. I'm going to have to wait until I actually get in there and mess around with it if they give me access. Uh, the concept of it is very cool. It's something that we've kind of been anticipating with text to 3D, like demos, like I've been making here. So... The technology is nothing new, but they are taking it to another level with clothing, which is very hard to do. So whenever I watch stuff like this, I generate a lot of questions, right? So one of the questions I'm going to have is where is it pulling the data from? You know, like the clothing, how, how big is the library? How, how much variations are we going to get as far as the face goes? Like, you know, there's just so many questions when it comes to this kind of stuff. And another thing is I saw that you can export it to Unreal Engine. How are these characters going to be rigged? As you all know, I'm a big fan of the MetaHuman, not because of their fidelity. That means how much they look good. One of the main reasons why I think MetaHumans are super good, super strong, and a lot of people are using it now is because of their bone structures, their facial animations, their body rig, their facial rig are so good. They don't have a lot of clothes, but you can create clothes for them. So again, my question is, how are these characters going to be rigged? How well are they going to be rigged? I guess for, for video games like apps, like phone apps, I'm pretty sure people are going to be able to use this. But for cinematics, I'm going to have to hold my verdict on that until I can actually try this out. All right, so we have body rig because there's an idle animation there. So I'm pretty curious to see. And as far as bone structure goes, what kind? You know, how, how are they going to be rigged? Are they going to be rigged like Mixamo? Are they going to be... Yeah, so this right here kind of what worries me when it comes to facial animation. Yeah, so so it's again, it's it's a pretty cool concept. But I'm going to have to see, I need to see more of this. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Are y'all going to be taking a look at this? Go ahead and sign up for the beta. I don't know when it's coming out. Uh, but yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.